Okay, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, this is the third day after surgery. I wanted to talk about stool softener that I started using. Um, do docosate sodium, I don't know how you say it, but stool softener. You can take one three times a day or three times at once. I take it all at once because I really want to, you know, hit it good, make sure that I can go to the bathroom. You don't want to strain at all. You do not want to strain an ounce. Straining hurts so bad. Um, also wanted to show you the wound on the third day. It looks like I got shanked and it looks like there's stitches in it, but there's not. It's just glue. So, kind of here is a nice view. Which I think it looks better. I mean, it's just generally looking pretty good uh, as a whole. Um, I feel good about it. Still trying to keep my posture up like this so that you put a stretch into here because that mesh that I have is probably in this area. I had a large hole. It's probably about this big. I can feel it. Actually, I can feel like the presence of it bind. So you want to kind of keep a little bit of a stretch on it, just a little bit, whenever you're upright, so that you can have um, flexibility as it's healing. You don't want to do it too much. You can tell. You can feel when you're doing it too much. Um, again, just a quick video to show the healing of the wound and to talk about stool softener. Uh, whole foods have made a huge difference. I've been doing plant whole foods, um, and they make so much difference as far as me going to the bathroom. I recommend that you do that if you can. Um, I've been doing smoothies, banana, avocado smoothies, um, steamed vegetables, carrots, some potatoes, just anything that's basically not going to be, your body's going to have to really break it down and it stays in your system a long time. Foods like that are highly fibrous and they'll move through your body fast and so it helps you go to the bathroom easier. You do not want to strain, trust me. See you next time.